Hey Cricketers, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carrie. One of the questions that I get asked most frequently on my YouTube channel is how do you start a website for your small business? If you're looking for something fast, fun, easy, and free, then I would recommend using the Square Website Builder to make your website. Square Online accepts and manages your orders, both online and in store, from social and mobile. The best part is, is that it's totally free to start and there are no monthly fees. You only get charged when you make a sale, which is 2.9% plus 30 cents per transaction. This is how Square makes their money to help keep their business growing. One thing that I want to point out is that Square Up Website Builder is not to be confused with Squarespace. While they're both website building sites, they're two totally, completely different companies. So make sure you click that link down below in my video description to bring you to the correct website to build your own website. A Cricut machine, just like this one behind me, is a fantastic tool to use to start your own business working from home. I've made thousands of dollars selling all kinds of different Cricut projects. With a Cricut machine, the possibilities are endless. You can make custom shirts, personalized glassware, you can even etch glasses. I know that I bought a lot of these things when I was planning my own wedding, like the groomsmen's gifts, which were the etched beer mugs, and then the bridesmaids' gifts, which were personalized wine glasses. Back when I got married, they didn't have a Cricut machine, but now with one of these machines, you can make all kinds of things like that. You can make Christmas ornaments. Speaking of Christmas, I save a ton of money every year at Christmas because I make almost all of my own Christmas gifts. Not so much toys for my kids, but if it's people like grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, I'll make a lot of that kind of stuff with my own Cricut machine. It's how people make those window decals that you see on cars or also the wall decals used for home decor. You can make your own art. I could literally go on and on and on about all the different things that you can make with a Cricut machine, which is why it's so useful for starting your own business. If you're in the market for a Cricut machine, Cricut has a lot of different machines that they offer. The Cricut Maker 3 is the best machine that they offer right now. But if you're on a budget, the Cricut Maker or the Cricut Explore Air 2 are also great options. Behind me, I have the Cricut Maker. That's what I use for my business. And I actually started out my business using the Cricut Explore Air 2. If you want to see more of my best-selling Cricut projects and business tips, make sure you subscribe to my channel. You can also click onto the playlist at the end of this video to see more of my content. In this Square website tutorial, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to build a website using Square. After you click the link in my video description, it will bring you to this page where it says Square Online Start Free. So right here, you wanna click this button. From here, you just type in some very basic information like your first name, last name, email address, confirm your email address, password, and click I agree, then continue. Click continue, and then choose which one of these best describes you. Are you an individual or a sole proprietor, an LLC, private company? You're probably gonna wanna choose this one. What name would you like to appear on customer receipts? I'm gonna type Cricketer, the name of my business, and then continue. What type of business do you run? So you can go through here and select which type. I'm gonna say specialty shop and continue. Tell us what you're selling online. So are you selling physical items? If you have a Cricut business, this is probably what you're selling. There's also menu items, tickets, donations, memberships, and services. So I'm gonna click continue. How do you plan to fulfill orders? I want to ship them. I want to allow pickup. Um, I can do delivery. And this is probably not one that I'm going to need. So I'll continue. Now we just have to wait a second while they build the store. This might take a few minutes. Here they give you some plan options. So there's this free option, completely free to start. Like I said earlier, it's 2.9% plus 30 cents per transaction. And they give you these website builder and SEO tools right here. There are some other more expensive paid options, but for this video, we're gonna be selecting free and continue. 
They have these guides right here, which will walk us through the basic steps that we need to get our online store up and running. The first thing that we wanna do is create an online catalog, add an item to sell. Then click create new item. From here, we can select a picture, an item type, and some more information. So let's say I wanna start selling a birth announcement elephant. So select a photo, click open. Um, if you wanna learn how to make these birth announcement elephants with your Cricut machine, I do have a tutorial on my YouTube channel. The item type is a physical item, it's not digital or a service, so we leave that alone. The item title, we'll call it a purple birth announcement elephant. The price is going to be $30. Um, if you have the item on sale, you can put a sale price here, or if not, you can leave it blank. And then if you wanna put a description of your item, you can do that here. So 10 inch plush birth announcement elephant purple text. Right here you can adjust the visibility so your item will not appear on your site until you add it, but this setting will change how it shows up in your navigation and search results. So I'm gonna leave it as visible. Upgrade to schedule item updates in advance. Schedule visibility and sale price updates for a specified time by integrating the site's plan. Um, this isn't something I need right now. Fulfillment, how will your shoppers be receiving this item? They can do shipping, pickup, or local delivery. This is something that you really have to think about with your Cricut business. Are you only gonna do shipping? Are you gonna have local pickup where people come to your house? Or do you want to go and drive and meet people in a public setting to do delivery? You have to figure out how much the item weighs. Birth announcement elephants don't weigh very much, so I'm just gonna say one pound. Right here is the option for taxes. If you want no taxes applied when selling this item via Square, you can check this. I want taxes to come out because I don't wanna commit tax fraud, so I'm gonna leave that unchecked. Here you can input some additional information such as stock or item ID numbers. I'm not doing that in this tutorial. Variations allow your shoppers to select from variations such as size and color. So this is really important, especially for this birth announcement elephant. So I'm gonna click Add and Manage. So I can add a variation. So we can have blue text, orange text, pink text, or purple text. And actually, I'm gonna go up and change purple birth announcement to just birth announcement elephant. And we'll get rid of purple text here since we can add that down here as a variation. And we can get rid of this regular one, delete. Right here we have modifiers. Allow your shoppers to customize your item with modifiers or custom text. Modifiers edited in your Square Online Library will also update in your Square Item Library. So I'll manage modifiers, create your first modifier. I'm gonna click typing text into a text box. Name your text box so shoppers will know what is being selected. So let's start with first name, then create new, middle name, weight in pounds. weight in ounces, length in inches, and time born, AM or PM. 
first name, last name, weight, length, time. These are all of the modifiers we need for this project, so then we can click Done. We don't have any subscriptions. Here you can do some SEO stuff, search engine optimization. For the search engine optimization, I'm gonna put birth announcement. click save. Items without prices will not display on your website. Save. Let's add another item. Create new item. The item is going to be a onesie. Hello world, actually I think onesie is a copyrighted term, so I think you have to say bodysuit. Hello world, baby bodysuit, select an image, open, the price is going to be $12. You can add a more detailed description here. Scroll down. I'm only going to do shipping on this item. The shipping weight is half a pound. This is where you can keep track of the stock. So I want to track the stock. And I have 10 of these in stock. So we can update. Variations. So this is where we can select size and colors. So I'm going to add variations. We're going to have zero to three months, three to six months, six to nine months, 12 months, and done. Now you have the option to change the amount of stock you have of each product. So we can track stock and let's say we have two zero to three months two three to six two and let's say four now this is where you can select your price sometimes if you're selling like shirts for example and you have a larger size like a 2xl some people will charge more for those sizes with onesies, your prices are probably all going to be the same. So I don't remember what I said it was before. $12, 12, 12, and let's just say we want to charge $13 for this one. Then you can select the weight. So 0.5 pounds. And this is going to help give your customers an accurate shipping price. Down here is the option for search engine optimization or SEO. Filling out these boxes here will help your customers find your item when they're searching on Google. So I'm gonna type in hello world, baby bodysuit. Then you can click save and view. View and test your site live with this private link. So here is my onesie. The price range is 12 to $13. So not a whole lot, but we have some more work to do. There's also a mobile view button here. And then click save. Now let's go back to website and edit site.
This is where you get to the fun part where you can really customize your website. They have all of these pre-made templates, which are really nice. So you can just scroll through and find one that you like. You start by picking an overall site style, then make it your own by customizing the colors, fonts, and shapes to best reflect your brand. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and select this one. And here is a preview of this style. If you wanna go back and preview some other ones, you can just click on it and it will show you. I actually kind of like how this pink looks, so I'm just gonna go with that one and click Customize. Right here, you can change the colors. So I like the pink, but I don't like the purple. Up here, I can change the main color. If you wanna change the fonts, there's a whole bunch of options here that you can go through. This is where you can add your logo. Having a logo is really important. So click Add Image and select your logo. Then click done. And here you can see it put my logo there and there. You can also adjust the shape. So if you want rounded boxes, pill shaped or sharp. This is really all just personal preference. Then I can click done and done. Right here is a page list where you can view a list of site pages. Select the page to edit or click the plus sign to add a new page. So right now this is the home page. You can click on this text box and edit it. So if we don't want it to say live in moments that matter. We have custom and personalized gifts. Shop now. You can have an email sign up. We can add another page, such as a contact us page. We can click add and go down to email newsletter. Um, if you wanted to change this, so if you wanted it to say something other than email, you can make this say whatever you want. So you can put sign up for email notifications, or you can just leave it as email. I'm just showing you that you can customize it same with sign up, you can put enter to win or just submit. You can also change the colors. Down here, you can adjust the footer. So if we want our logo, it's on. If you don't want it there, you can turn it off. Social icons. And this is where you can link to your social. So click connect and then you can type in all of your different socials. So for email, I'm gonna have cricketer at yahoo.com, Facebook, then click done. If you wanna edit the footer branding, you'll need to upgrade. So it says, give your site a branded look by removing our logo from the footer. You'll need to upgrade first. It's talking about this right here where it says powered by square. If you want the free version, you have to leave it, but you do have the option of making it black or white. I think white looks better. If you want to add other sections to your website, you can click add section. And these are all different types of things that you can add. One thing that's pretty cool is that you can add an Instagram feed. So they'll link your Instagram right to here and show all of the different things on your Instagram feed. Another option that I think is really cool, especially for me being on YouTube, is this little video tab. Get first peek at behind the scenes making of our products. This is great for having a Cricut business so you can actually show people how handmade your items are. You can use videos from your TikToks or Instagram or Facebook and add videos. So you can click on this box and then the source is YouTube or custom. If it's a custom video, you select custom and get started. However, in order to do that, you need to upgrade to one of the paid versions. If you do YouTube, you can paste your URL here. You can customize it further with layout and color.
Let's continue on through our checklist. So we did the online catalog. We are 40% done. The next thing that I wanna do is set up shipping rates, get stuff to your shopper, set up shipping details for where items will ship from and how much you'll charge. So click the set up shipping. The store name is Cricketer. This is where you import the address that you're shipping it from. I'm gonna put in the address of my post office. and my phone number and an optional email. Enter in your phone number and then click save. This is where you select the shipping carriers, set up carrier accounts to purchase shipping labels through Square. I'm gonna go ahead and go through USPS because it's already connected. With these other ones, you have to go on and create accounts with them. This is where we set up regions and rates in a shipping profile. So this is where I'm just gonna put standard um, like standard shipping you can select the countries that you want to add so I'm only going to ship to the United States this is where you can add your rates if there are multiple items with different shipping profiles in one order shipping rates will be added together so you can offer real-time shipping rates flat rate free shipping based on order weight based on order total or based on number of items so let's just select flat rate and I'm gonna charge a flat rate of $5. You can select per order or per item. I'm gonna do per item and done. Oh, you have to add a name too. Standard shipping. Then you can click save. The next thing that we can work on is shipping boxes. So save your package dimensions to make it faster to create shipping labels and for more accurate real-time shipping estimates during checkout. So they have a default box, 10 by 10 by 10. We can click edit, select this, and we can adjust the length, width, and height. You wanna go and check out all of the boxes that you have and take the measurements on them. So let's say my box is nine by four by six in the max weight is going to be two pounds. Select save. If you have a lot of boxes, you can click create new and do this as many times as you need to with all of the different lengths, widths, heights, and weights. We are done here. The next thing on the list is printer settings. So you can click edit and this is where you can select the type of printer. So are you using an eight and a half by 11 sheet for an inkjet or laser printer or thermal printers? So I'm just gonna click a regular printer and save. Now we're done with all of this, so we can go back to overview. The next thing that I'm gonna talk about is domains. So here you can click get a custom domain. If you wanna have a custom domain, you can type in a website that you think you want to use in search. Cricketer.com is not available because this is already a domain that I have purchased, but if you want to buy other domains through Square, it's about $20 a year. Or if you want to do it on the free way, you can go to use a Square domain. So it will be cricketer.square.site, which is fine if you're just starting out your own business really the difference between having a .com or .square.site. Click change. And now our site has been published to cricketer.square.site. The next thing on our list that we can do is set up online payments. Collect taxes on your sales and verify your identity. Verify your identity to receive payments securely via Square. You have to enter in your phone number so they can send a one-time passcode to verify your identity. Before you can start taking payments, we'll need to verify a few pieces of per personal information, check out our privacy policy for more details on how we protect your information. Where should we send your process sales? So they have square checking, which is instant access to sales, 
free of the usual fees. FDIC insured up to 250,000, no credit check. They give you a business debit card and you can pay bills and expenses. They also have next business day transfer. Funds are sent to your linked bank account within one to two business days or same day transfer where they charge a 1.75 fee. Um, I don't want to set up a Square checking account right now, so I'm just going to do next business day transfer. Then continue. This is where you can link your bank account. I'm going to skip this for now. Now that I've set up payments, I should be able to go to my website and preview it and click on the things I have for sale and actually have it work and be able to see the different options. So if we go to website and then edit site, I can click preview and then I can click on the different buttons. So I have shop now and then I can click on that birth announcement elephant and down here I have all of the different options. So if somebody wants to buy it, they have to select which color text. So let's say they want blue text. First name is Barrett. Middle name is Christopher. His weight is 7 pounds, 12 ounces, 21.5 inches. He was born at 11.01 a.m. And then I can click add to cart. Since this is just a preview, I can't actually add it to cart, but you get the picture. I can also test out my onesie link. So there's the option of the size and then add to cart. For some reason, this photo is not showing up. So I can click close preview, go back to my item list. Arrange and add items. I'm going to edit my Hello World bodysuit and add the photo. Then click save. After you're done designing your website and make sure that everything is branded and looks good and exactly how you want it and all of your links work, then you can go ahead and publish your website. That's pretty much it. If you have any questions at all, feel free to ask them in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video and learned something new, I would appreciate and love if you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.